Hello and welcome to Blakeney Motorsport. My name is Mike Grant Pieskin and we are live in the race department. If you look downstairs, you'll see a glorious selection of cars all being worked on at the moment. But today, it's all about what happens upstairs in the engine shop and looking at what the team get up to right from the start of the design process all the way through to final build and then onto the dyno. And that's where they run in the engine and do the final tuning. If I can introduce you to Josh. Josh is our chief CAD designer. Josh, what have you been designing today? Uh, so this is a six cylinder 12 counterweight crankshaft that we've been commissioned to design by a customer. Uh, it's for a Delage D6. Um, the original crank was quite heavily cracked uh, and with no option to buy new. We had no option, we had no choice but to design new. Uh, so hopefully in a couple of weeks time we should be seeing this go from CAD model to physical part that we can see go around in an engine and see on dyno. Excellent, thanks Josh. That particular car is a very special one. It started life as a GP racer back in 1947, entering events as the iconic Poe Historic. And then 1948, it was a sports car doing the Spa 24 hour, and in 49, the Le Mans 24 hour. We've moved into the engine storage for the parts. And if you look down here, we've got some brand new Meadows crankcases, all ready for build, some Goff crankcases, um, a Jaguar parts, this is another one of Blakeney Motorsport specialities, whether it be the 4.2, the 3.8 or the 3.4, you name it, we do them. Upstairs here on the landing is where the parts get stored after the cars come in and have work done. We've over 30 cars downstairs all in work in progress, there's a lot to keep on top of. Coming through into the final build room. This is where the engines have their final assembly um, and over here we have a seven and a quarter litre six cylinder Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost engine. This is out of a 1948 Maserati 4CLT Grand Prix car. Uh, it's a 1500cc twin supercharged engine uh, fed by methanol, so a real fire breather. And this has got to be ready for Monaco in a couple of months time. Over in this area, six cylinder Aston Martin three liter engine um, very close to the final stages and going to be going on dyno imminently that's going to be going in a DB2 car that we restored a few years ago uh, onto this side of the room we have the Delage block and uh, the cracked crank uh, which the new one after it's been manufactured will be going into another speciality of baby motorsport is the Meadows engine uh, this particular one here is a supercharged Meadows and we're looking to get an excess of 130 brake horsepower um, and that's got to be ready for Le Mans in the summer. The engine out of the Lister Costin Coupe, this won the TT last year in the hands of the owner Fred Waitman and Andre Lotra um, and that's in for a refresh to get it back up to its top 390 horsepower. Uh, Bentley engine and then another Blakeney Motorsport speciality. This is the Bristol engine, two litre, six cylinder, and once they're fully tuned, we like to see an excess of 170 brake horsepower. Out onto the landing, this is where the engines get craned up, and then they're into the disassembly area, and all the parts are cleaned and stored. The brand new engine dyno that was installed uh, not long ago. This has got a Bristol engine on it currently which will be run in and then put through a few power ups. Uh, come through here, I can introduce you to Tom. He is our head engine builder and uh, runs the dyno on a daily basis. Hi Tom, what are, you, uh, what are you working on today? Okay, so we've got a Bristol engine on the dyno here. This is our, um, our new dyno, fully com computerized water brake engine dyno, rated to about 800 brake horsepower, 10,000 RPM. Um, it allows us to run in, uh, test and develop engines under very controlled conditions. We can uh, monitor and log up to 50 channels of data, so power, torque, speed, uh, fueling, all temperatures and pressures, etc., under fully transient tests. Um, so we can make sure we get everything just spot on. Excellent, thanks, Tom. Well, until next time, guys, take care.